Okay, now we're going to discuss 2.2 inequalities. Okay, so basically we have four different learning outcomes to accomplish. So the first one is to relate the properties of inequalities. And then next, to find the linear inequalities. Okay, find the quadratic inequalities. And lastly, find the rational inequalities involving linear expressions. Okay, so let's try to discuss the first one. Okay, the properties of inequalities. Okay, so as you can see here, there are four properties of inequalities. Okay, so the first one is if you have A greater than B and C is any number, then A plus C is greater than B plus C. Okay, so let's see an example. Okay, if you have 3, for example, greater than 2. So, if you have 3 plus 4, a is still greater than 2 plus 4. If we add both sides with a positive number, then we will have, okay, the sign remains. So, we have 7 still greater than 6. Okay, and let's say if we have 3 greater than 2, and if we subtract both sides with a number, so let's say we have this 3 minus 4, so it is still greater than 2 minus 4. So, we still have negative 1 greater than negative 2 okay so this is the first property okay then second property if a is greater than b and c is a positive number then a c is greater than b c okay so for example for the second one okay let's say if you have 3 greater than 2 so if we multiply both sides with a positive number so let's say we have 4 so 3 times 4 is greater than 2 times 4 okay so if we get the value so we have 12 greater than 8 all right okay then what about the third one okay so the third property here if you have a greater than b and c is a negative number so we have to bear in mind that okay we are going to change the inequality sign from greater to less than sign okay so for example if we have 3 greater than 2. Okay, for the third one, if we have 3 greater than 2. Okay. So, if you multiply both sides by a negative number, okay, then please take note that we need to change the inequality sign here to be less than sign. 2 times negative 4 so it will be negative 12 less than negative 8 okay lastly fourth property if a is greater than b provided that a b must not be 0 then 1 over a is less than so still we have to change the inequality sign so for example if 3 is greater than 2 so 1 over 3 is less than 1 over 2 so we need to change the inequality sign from greater than to less than sign okay in order to cover 2.1b so how to solve linear inequalities i'm going to get one example here okay from tutorial question number 6b okay so it says that uh, we have these two linear inequalities okay so we have 2 minus 4x less equal negative 6 and we have 4x minus 10 greater equal 6x minus 30. Okay, how to solve this? Okay, so let's do one by one first. Okay, the first one we have. Okay, we move. Okay, this x. In, okay, we move to the right hand side. So it will be greater equal sign. So we move negative 6 to the left hand side. So we have 2 plus 6 which is 8. So we have x greater equal 2. Okay, then we have this. Okay, we solve this one. 4x minus 10. So, we move the 4x to the right and we move negative 30 to the left. So, we will have 20 greater equal 6x minus 4, 2x. We rewrite this 2x less equal 20 and we have x less equal 10. Okay, now the relation is n. 
So, for n, which means we need to find the intersection. Eh? Okay. So, this one, x greater equal to intersect with x less equal 10. So, we are going to draw number 9. So, x greater equal to means from 2 to the right. And then, we have x less equal 10. So, on the number line, 10 is on the right of 2. So, from 10 to the left. Okay. And we are looking for the intersection means... Okay, the numbers have to be in both sides. Okay, so now we may leave the answer. So the answer will be 2, 10. Okay, now so let's discuss on how to solve quadratic inequalities. Okay, so in order to solve quadratic inequalities, so... I uh, will fix this method. Uh, always use graphical method. Okay, graphical method means we need to sketch the graph. So, and we know for quadratic function, the graph will always be either smile or set graph depending on the value of A. So, this smile graph is for A positive and set graph is for A negative. Okay, but then to make it easier, okay, to make it easier for us, so I will fix this method okay post smile method which means okay post for positive so whenever we have quadratic uh, inequality always make sure okay always change the a value to be positive and then we will always have a smile okay a smile shape curve okay so now let's try to to do this question Okay, so we have this 7x squared plus x minus 6 less equal x squared minus 4. Okay, I'm going to copy back the question. 7x squared plus x minus 6 less than less equal to x squared minus 4. Okay, now we are going to bring everything to one side. Okay, so we have 6x squared plus x minus 2 less equal 0. So if, okay, we are going to let this whole thing. 6x squared plus x minus 2 equal to 0. Why do we let this equal to 0? So that we can find roots. What is the purpose of finding roots? So that we can sketch the graph. Okay. To sketch graph. Okay. Because we are using graphical method. So in order to sketch quadratic graph, we need to have the roots. So we let the whole thing here to be 0. So we can now factorize. So we will have okay, 3x and 2x here. So we will have okay, 2 here and 1 here. So plus minus. Alright, so which means our x is going to be negative 2 over 3 and 1 over 2. Okay, after we have found the roots, so we can start sketching the graph. Okay, because we have two roots, so we label here negative 2 over 3 and 1 over 2. Okay, so now, how do we shade the region? Okay, how to identify the respective region for our inequality? So, let's refer back the inequality sign here. It's less than 0. So, less than 0 means our region is supposed to be from x and below. Okay, from x and below means we're going to shade this region. So, which means, okay, our answer is going to be between negative 2 over 3, 1 over 2. Okay, why do we have close bracket here? Because we have equal sign here. So, that's why it's close for both. Okay, or we can leave the answer in solution set form. So, x double dot, x from negative 2 over 3 until 1 over 2 and we close. Okay, so because it's not stated in the question, eh, the question only solves. Okay, it doesn't state that leave the answer in solution set or, okay, solution set or interval form. This is interval. This is solution set. So, we may just choose to leave our answer in any of these forms.
how to solve rational inequalities all right so now we have this method sign table okay so sign table means we are going to have table okay with the signs huh? so plus minus plus minus depending on the okay uh, function that we have okay so now how to use sign table method to solve rational inequality Okay, so I'm going to get past your question, number 12, 2009-2010. Okay, so the question says, determine the solution set. So, please bear in mind, our final answer has to be in solution set form, not interval form. Okay, so this is the question. 2x plus 3 over x less equal 5. Okay, common mistake. Okay, common mistake done by student. common mistake done by student is okay they get rid of the denominator by simply multiplying both sides with x hence this is what they will get 2x square plus 3 less equal 5x okay so i need to remind you that this is wrong okay because again let's recall the property of inequality so property of inequality okay saying that if a is greater than b and c is a positive number so ac greater than bc but if you have a greater than b and c is a negative number so if you multiply both sides by a negative number then we need to change the inequality sign. Okay, but then if we multiply by x, x is unknown, right? Unknown. We do not know what the value. Okay. So if we do not know what the value, then how are we going to determine whether we need to change or get the inequality sign remain? So so please bear in mind this is not the correct way of doing it so what do we do here first we bring everything to one side 2x plus 3 over x minus 5 less equal 0 okay now what we're going to do we are going to equalize the denominator okay so equalize the denominator means okay i write this down first equalizing the denominator so we are going to put this over x and then this will be x square this one put over x then this will be 5x the denominator will remain so what do we have here so we will have 2x square minus 5x plus 3 over x less equal 0 okay so now we move on to the factorization so 2x minus 3 x minus 1 divided by x will be less equal 0 okay so then we have to bear in mind that x cannot be 0 because again if you have any fraction okay we have to bear in mind that the denominator cannot be equal to 0 or else it will be undefined okay so in order to find critical values so we let everything turn 0 so we have 2x minus 3 equal to 0 minus 1 equal to 0 and x equal to 0 so we have x equal to 3 over 2 x equals to 1 okay so why do we need to find these critical values so that we can draw table okay so first we draw number line okay we draw number line So on a number line, the smallest value is 0, followed by 1, 
followed by 3 over 2. Okay, so now we have this table. Okay, so this is the region x less than 0. So we have this with infinity 0. We have to put open bracket yeah, because x cannot be 0. Okay, so this one 0 until 1. And here we can put close bracket because this is equal sign. And then 1, 3 over 2. And then 3 over 2 infinity ok so now we put this 2x minus 3 all the linear factors and lastly we are going to have conclusion Two x minus 3 x minus 1 divided by x Okay, so now we see for this 0, 0 is root of x, right? So, if we substitute 0 into x here, so we will get 0 here. So, on the number line, on the right of 0, we have all positive signs. And on the left of 0, we have negative. And here 1, it's a factor of this. So, 1 is the root of x minus 1. So, if we substitute 1 into this x minus 1, we will get 0 here. So, on the number line, on the right of 0, we have positive. And on the left of 0, we have negative. And then, 3 over 2. If you substitute 3 over 2 into this 2x minus 3, we will get 0 here. So, on the right of 0, we have positive and negative on the left. Okay, so now let's find the conclusion. Okay, so this will become... negative positive negative and positive so now let's try to find the conclusion so based on this quad, um, rational inequality so we have to find the less than zero sign so which means we circle the negative signs here so we can find our answer and the question says give the solution set so that means the final answer has to be in set form. So the answer will be x double dot x less than 0 union with. Okay, because we have two different answers. So we combine the answers by using the union sign. Yeah? 3 over 2. Okay, so again, the answer has to be in solution set because that is what required in the question.